now let's run and understand the basic composer commands for downloading any package in uh, through composer we have to fire a command called composer require and package name for this demo i have a module called uh, aws cloudwatch Uh, this module, what it does, it uh, it basically provides integration of AWS CloudWatch service with Drupal, and it uh, states in the requirement that it is it it has dependency of AWS SDK library. Um. So and uh, yeah. Okay. So let's download this module. So for downloading, I would have to fire or run composer require Drupal and the name of the model i can get from the ui name and before that i want you to notice one thing whenever whenever we set up a composer based project we come up with two files called composer.json and composer.log will we will understand the difference between the two files and what these files represent first before that understand let's observe what is over there the four line of code inside require okay now i'm going to run this command and what it will do it will basically download this module and along with this module it will download other dependencies also for example this module is dependent uh, on on this of the library so it has composer has downloaded this library for me uh, this module is, needs key module so this composer has downloaded that module for me too and another library called this library at line number 19 that it has added drupal slash the package name and the version name also 1.0 um, so and if i go to my compose.log file and if i search i would see the same entry something like this entry with this package over here so whenever we run any command like require to download or require a package it simply gets uh, the simply composer.json file simply adds that in the require section um, composer.json file is a file which which tells about the project it tells the it, it it states the name of the project the description type license so for example for this demo i have set up or set up this Drupal environment with Drupal recommended projects. So I can see the name of that project in the composer.json file. Then I have other important things here, repositories, require, extra section, um, contract, minimum stability. You can, un you can understand this by the name itself. I'm going to focus more on the repository section, require section and extra because these are important and these are a bit complex then these things name description so uh, whenever we uh, if you would have noticed uh, composer is a php tool so it works beyond drupal as well so i can write composer require and the name of the library abc slash abc it will download that for me yeah bbb yeah anything name so it will download a uh, package name of organization abc for me how whenever we write drupal here and the name of the package uh, module so for example paragraph how does uh, composer know or evaluate to download that thing from drupal.org because we have all the modules on drupal.org not on composer packages so the answer to that is composer packages okay so i'm saying this term a lot a composer packages is a list is a directory maintained by composer we can understand it that it is a directory it has all the packages so whenever we write uh, any any package over here package and the organization it simply go here and search that package and download that package from here now all the drupal modules are over here on drupal.org then how it gets downloaded from here so to answer that question drupal has its own um, uh, composer 
packages and you can see the information over here so that is the packages uh, of drupal for uh, drupal 8 and drupal 7 or 9 related modules so through this section we are telling composer to use this packages for downloading all my drupal related modules now require section require section uh, it tells about all the dependencies my project has or uh, for perfect functioning so i have added recently aws cloudwatch log and i i can see that in the required um, now uh, other thing is extra i'm going to tell about the extra thing uh, a little bit at the end of the video because it it is a lot to take it is it is going to be deep so let's f first understand everything about require now um, since i'm telling you about uh, the about different commands of composer let's understand one more command called composer remove now remove let's remove the package we have just installed i am going to remove this and it has removed packages for me now if i'll go and i can see the packages are not here let me go to my modules folder also i am not seeing anything over here uh, and let me go to my compose.log file also and i am not seeing anything with AWS CloudWatch log. So it has completely removed this dependency with the command composer remove. Now uh, let me run, uh, I mean, let's understand what composer install is. Composer install command basically install whatever is there in the composer.json file. So this will, if I want to do, it is not recommended and one should not do this or edit the composer.json file directly for requiring any module or dependency. But if I want to do so, I can simply write my module or package information in the require section. I can specify what version I want to download. So 1.0. So they basically is, I'm telling that require or download uh, at least the 1.10 version minimum and if it is having any latest version higher than 1.0 download that instead of 1.0 so i have entered this entry over here let me go and check one more thing time that nothing is there in the composer.log file with this keyword aws cloudburst log and nothing is there in my modules folder and I will go and run composer install. So this command installs the packages listed in the require section of composer.json file. Okay. So it is telling me that there is an error with the syntactical error of composer.json. So I can, I can be sure if I'm making any change in the composer.json file, it, if it is validate or not, uh, valid or not i can check that with compose dot validate command so this is another command we can make use of uh, to know if we have any error uh, in our composer.json file uh, so this this command is useful if, if we want to push anything uh, in the git and we want to make sure that whatever we are pushing is valid or not so this this composer valid command now it is telling me that okay that it, I have extra trailing space. Okay. I have removed that extra. Okay. So it is saying that log file is not updated, but JSON is valid. So it is not updated because I have specified a package over here and it is not there in the composer.log file. So for that, I will simply run composer install and what it is doing. Okay, there is something. Okay, 
Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you thing something that whenever we run this composer install command, it basically check my composer dot log file, and whatever is listed over there, it will install the same at the same logged version for me. Now it is saying that since you have mentioned something in the composer dot json. And composer dot log is not having that entry, so it is not installing the uh, AWS log uh, package for me. Uh, so yeah, this is this is saying that log file is not up to date because the latest up to date with the latest change is composer dot json. So for that, what do we have to do? Composer update. Either we can run composer update. This will update all the packages. Or we can simply copy this and update. So this has installed a package called uh, AWS CloudWatch Load by making a custom entry in the required a manual entry in the required section. So now let's understand Composer on install and update. Composer on install is used to install the packages. Uh, if composer.log, whatever is listed in the composer.log file. So if I delete this file, for example, I am deleting this file, and then if I run composer.install, what it will do? Now I don't have any composer.log file, so it will create a composer.log file for me, and it will log. Yeah, so you can see I have I now have composer.log file and I have this package also. So composer.install compose install installs the packages for me uh, at the version logged in the composer.log file. If there is no composer.log file, so composer.compose install will look for composer.log file first. And if it is if if there is no composer.log file, it will install the packages with the version specified in the composer.json file. Whereas composer in update is a command which is used to update the packages if there is any package with a uh, latest version uh, 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 other I mean if a package has any latest version other than the specified version in the composer log file so it will a composer update command will look the composer .json file instead of the composer log file and will update the packages if the any package has any update. So this is actually the difference. And uh, there are few few commands like uh, search, browse, outdated. Um, for example, if you want to search for a module, if the module or package is there, uh, exists or not, so I can use this command composer search or the package name. For example, views. It will search if there is any any package with this name. So it has returned me a. a a long list let me search with this package all only view is a very common name let me search with aws cloudwatch log let's see if what it will return okay. i have entered a quote so composer search will search package with this name in, in, in all the packages so it is returning that it has something like this this another other command is drupal browse so if i want to know about a particular package like a detail detail help of a package what it is what it does so i can get the information by this command composer browse and i'll use the same package Okay, I made a mistake. Okay, I have to specify the full path. Drupal slash the organization name also. So it is telling me to go to this. Okay, so it has returned me to, to the exact URL on the Chrome. So I can get the whole information about the whole package. So this is the this is useful if i want to know about any package uh, another command is composer require sorry composer outdated 
this command is useful if i want to check if i am if my project has any outdated module or is there any module uh, that needs an update uh, this command is useful if i want to update run a update command and i want to check what all modules or packages are going to be updated with that command so i can it gives me a whole list that these these many uh, packages have are are installed with this version and they have a update so this is about this command this command uh, is a more verbose of require so this gives more information than the require basic require command so this is all about the basic commands of composer